All right, Smitty, now that we have some landing spots for some of these 2018 rookie running backs, what are you thinking? Give me some new rookie running back rankings and your analysis. You know, this rookie running back class is better than I think people are giving it credit. You have obviously Saquon Barkley. Everybody's in love with uh, the ability and the upside there. And I think that he's in an ideal landing spot. And for anybody to suggest that the Giants aren't going to be able to block for him or that the offense isn't ready to go, they drafted Will Hernandez. They're obviously working on the offensive line. Uh, but Eli Manning had nobody to throw to last year. He lost Odell Beckham Jr. in, what, uh, week four? Um, he had almost no rushing attack or any running backs to help him. Uh, almost no passing game whatsoever uh, because he had no one to throw to. Everything's going to change for the Giants. And, and in Saquon Barkley, it would not be surprising that in this landing spot, the most ideal place for him, that he ran for 12, 1300 yards as a rookie, had 12, uh, 12 to 13 total touchdowns, um, maybe even pulled in another 350 to 450 yards through the air. Um, I think he'll be utilized a ton. He'll have the kind of season that Alvin Kamara had. And I think that uh, everyone's gonna be looking at him as the 1.01 or 1.02 in all startup drafts uh, heading into this time next year. Um, as for these other rookie running backs, I like Ronald Jones the second a ton. Um, he and Royce Freeman were my dark horse uh, favorites of this 2018 rookie running back class. And I think both of them landed in the second and third best landing spots. Barkley had the most ideal spot in New York. And I think Freeman and uh, Ronald Jones II are going to thrive and be uh, easily be running back twos heading into their rookie seasons. And one of the two will be a top 12 overall pick heading in, into 2019. That's going to be my prediction there. Uh, Ronald Jones II reminds me a lot of a Devonta Freeman slash Alvin Kamara. He's going to be used heavily in that offense. There's not a lot of competition. Uh, he pulls in the football well. He's quick. He's got that uh, uh, dynamic and uh, playmaking ability that I think is going to be very, very hard to keep him off the field. And the same thing with Royce Freeman. And I know you're going to get excited about this because you're a Denver uh, fanatic, but he is a smooth running back that has a lot of left to right lateral uh, skill. Um, he's very uh, good receiving the football and, and making decisions and being patient, kind of like a Le'Veon Bell. I'm not calling him Le'Veon Bell, but he has the patience of a Bell. And I think if he can work on his quickness and hit that hole a little quicker uh, in the pros than he did in college, I think he's going to use that patience and turn into a, a very, very sneaky, tough to, to predict and stop running back at the next level. Somebody that I think as a rookie could rush for 1,000, 1,100 yards and, and 8 to 10 scores. Um, how they use him in the passing game will really determine how well and how awesome he becomes for the future, especially in point per reception. But he's got the skill set to be a point per reception beast. 